I don't know about you, but when I think of redwood trees, I either picture Jurassic Park or Star Wars, and in those scenes in my mind, there are always ferns. And honestly, I don't know how we've been yapping about this forest for so long and haven't talked about them yet. The thick canopy created by the redwoods doesn't allow much sunlight to reach the forest floor, meaning that the species that live there have to do other things to survive. Ferns are really great filtration devices for the forest. And what I mean by this is since they are really good at growing on cliff sides and places where there's a lot of runoff, these ferns are filtering the water so that by the time it reaches a source like a creek at the end, it's actually really, really clean. Scientists have even discovered species of fern that can filter heavy metals out of water. But even greater than that, these ferns are quite literally holding the entire forest floor together. What I mean by this is that ferns have a really large, strong root called a rhizome, which essentially grips onto the forest floor and holds it together. Following erosion and disturbance, ferns are one of the first species that are able to take root and start to make the forest floor a livable ecosystem for so many other species. 